Welcome back folks and friends, we're back with Farming Simulator. Hopefully I will upload a couple of these episodes that I have backlogs for you guys because YouTube screwed up one day when they were doing maintenance and I couldn't upload and long story short, we have a backlog of videos which I will try to upload very quickly for you guys. We've gone ahead and sewed canola right now, we're playing back on normal speed and I was checking the store at the sales. Look at this, this is the creme de la creme, the Dute 7545 RTS and there's a sale going on for 16 hours, we need $252,000. We can easily come up with that money I'd say. That is because I can do missions and I can sell my crop. Now I have this guy over here who is struggling, this Kramer, it's struggling to carry this fertilizer and the only way we can drive properly and actually control our vehicle is by reversing. Because once we go into forward propulsion, you will see that we will not be able to, we'll basically be wheeling the whole way there. So I just need to set this uh, right, we're s almost done sowing our canola. Unfortunately it doesn't seem like my cultivator did too good of a job on that last row. Yeah, so as I was saying, you've got to go either really painfully slowly to actually turn, which is next to impossible, or I can reverse your way to victory, which is what I'm trying to do and I still can't do. Okay, how about we do that? Um, I want to cancel the missions. I went ahead and did a fair few missions. That is why we just have so much money. Oh, okay. Um, is there a way we can even ourselves back up? Nope. What about if I go forward? Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go ahead and work out something. Oh, this is working. Beautiful. Alrighty. Oh, oh, oh. We're just gonna go straight. Alright, I think this is good enough. And off we go. This about it looks like it's gonna work out perfectly fine. I think we're going a bit too much to the left. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well we'll have to leave it as it is. You stop. Alright. So what we've got to do is I got a cultivator working. Wait, where is it? Here. I'm gonna tell it to the wrong piece of machinery. We need to tell G. Alright, get rid of the cultivator. You're gonna have to go back to the tipper. We're playing on real time. Why can't I drive? Oh, right. That was a hide worker. So, we're back with the tipper. We're gonna have to go get the barley. So, this whole tipper is from everything that we've currently gotten uh, from the crop. So, that's 43%. So, it'll be about two trailfuls or two tipfuls of barley for this whole field, which is quite decent. That's about 40,000 tons. I think it's just a bit over as well. But barley fills up so quickly because we have such a bad uh, um, harvester. Oh well, not much I can do about that. This saw is done, fantastic. So I, I made this guy the saw because the Kramers are just painfully slow. So now what that means I'll be able to do is go ahead and get that cultivator and start working a little bit but or well, actually I could go ahead and fertilize first and that'd be a good idea let's just go ahead and do the fertilization yeah so I'm going to start selling the Kramers everything's gonna be going uphill from well downhill from now it's gonna be a lot easier right now especially once we get that harvester now excuse all the tabbing oh beautiful that's all done. We've got a little line over here that's no real worry. Let's just go over fill ourselves back up. With his seed, ha 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 ha. I hate this little stuff. So what I did is, I clearly did that in real time, that massive section. I, I just do sections now in real time. I don't have to wait until you do the whole field because just how slow and how small this harvester really is. Are you gonna stop or are you gonna actually go ahead and turn? You're gonna, oh no, you're stopping. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this first. So as we're doing this in real time, we've got 16 hours 
until the sale actually really ends. So that's fantastic news for us. We've got a lot of time. Definitely a lot of time. Thankfully, this, this is actually the most expensive vehicle that we've got. At least, tractor it is. It's definitely quite a piece of machinery. Let's go cruise control 2. Don't want to go too fast. So all this canola is going to grow at the same time, which is going to be nice as well. It's going to mean that we can harvest it continuously. And it doesn't look like it's patching too much. We've just got a little patch over there, but nothing major. And we can actually do this field in two goes. Just one time. There we go. It's going to be done just in two turns. So, the next field that we'll buy is field 17, but there's a long way to go until we buy that. Until I feel confident enough with all my money. Because right now, we're just going to be aiming for that harvester, a cultivator, and a good sower. Those are our goals, although I don't think we'll be able to hit all of them this mission. Or this episode, sorry. That's done. Beautiful. Now uh, get rid of the sower. Uh, do I really need the cultivator? Uh, let's just keep doing it. Even though we'll probably need to slow down. But, uh, you know, it can, it can wait. So, what else are we doing? We Okay, you're done. So we need the big tipper. Tell him to come back. I will need to go ahead and go to the bank. We also need to deliver all of our crop. I think we've got a lot of wheat, so let's just check how much we've got. Back to statistics. Wrong button. We've got 25,000 tons of wheat, so that'll be about $30,000 worth. So that'll lead us into about 100,000, a bit over. And then we still have about $150,000 which we can loan because for whatever reason, we start off with the $50,000 loan, which is no great, no fun. That's just, it's just so idiotic, I think. They never actually told us that until I actually checked the bank. And then it's like, hey, presto, look, we're charging you money. Sucks. All right, so I could go ahead and go with you. We're carrying five eggs. How many eggs do we actually have in our pen? Three, oh, that's not even worth the hassle. Oh, is our worker done? What is he trying to do? Why is... Sometimes I've noticed that this game sort of... Well, I guess it's not... You know, like, it sort of speeds itself up, but it just must be me just pressing buttons just like an idiot. Now, what in the world are you actually harvesting, you harvester? I've got no idea. So let's reverse our way in. Out of here. And start doing this massive section. Beautiful. Now we want to go back to you and go to a bank. So let's check a map. A bank is at the store. And so let's just close the PDA so you guys can see. The PDA is just so big. I think if you ask me, it's a bit too big, but it takes like a good quarter of the screen up. So I think. Because the sales are for 20%, this is the best guy that you could get. It's 9,000 liters of grain tank capacity. So that's, ooh, I'd say about six times better than the current one we've got. And it's just so much quicker, so much bigger, and it can, and this is the only harvester that can cut corn as well. You can, but you need two different uh, types of heads. But I'm not gonna be complaining, so let's just go ahead over here. Take out a loan, see how much money we'll have then. Check my finances. Alright. Yeah, so we've made we've taken out a loan of fifty thousand dollars, but that's when we started the game. Unfortunately, so we can get an extra hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's two hundred and twenty-nine thousand, okay. 
We need 252,000. So, but I have had a little bit of a problem. I'm not exactly sure if this happens to everyone, but we'll go into it a little bit later on. But you actually need more money than $252,000 for the option to be able to buy it for whatever reason. I've got no idea why that is. But uh, yeah, it's kind of actually really annoying. But we'll leave that tractor there. So we need to make money. Let's go back to these uh, tippers. So to make money, there's a couple of different options that we could do. We could go ahead and turn missions on. Again, every two minutes. So I could go ahead and do that this episode. I really need to get that harvester though. Once we get that harvester, mate, ballin', ballin', everything's gonna go by, oh, a bit of lag. Everything's gonna go by so much quicker. It's gonna be perfect. All right, so let's try not make this a disaster. Okay, that was pretty much a disaster. And we'll have to get to go back around again. Oh God, this is not going well. We're not going, going the way we want it to. So let's go back to that harvester. So we'll be able to set him on his path again. Yeah, I reckon this field will be about a good two tippers for, which is good. Now, no, you stop working. I'm gonna have to realign you, unfortunately, due to my shocking driving. And off we go. So we've got missions enabled, which is good. Um, what I'll do is I'll follow this guy around until he just uh, goes to the end of this row on the end on that end of the field, which we're looking at right now. So we'll be able to go back to the solo pretty quick. Uh, in the meantime, I need to go to the other tipper. Excuse all the tabbing. <laughs> Are they really? I'd love a mod that would be able, would enable us to hotkey different vehicles. That would be such a time saver and just so good. But here we've got a bit of wheat, so this is going to be about what? We're going to have 26,000 or so tons, or liters, so. Yeah, about 26,000. No, I want to deny that. I just want to do the grass cutting missions, but. Also, if anyone's wondering, the missions that last from, say, the port to the golf course, which is from one end of the map to the other end of the map, they last for about 11... No, what, what the hell is with the lag? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, let me press escape. Alrighty, we're back. I'm not exactly sure what the lag was. Kind of really annoying. But at least we're back now. It's all good. Back to the same spot where we were. So we deliver this. So while we're going ahead and getting all the wheat in our big tipper and selling it off, we'll be able to go ahead and get the barley with the harvester out of here. So many eggs we can spot from here. I can see two. Usually I hide them in the bushes as well. At the moment I can only see two. Oh no, there's three. Yep, I can see the third one. Alright, so it seems like our harvest is done. Let's just go over here and just, you can fill him up. This looks nice. Wow, this actually looks really good. Although the uh, wheat or barley, sorry, is going through our vehicle. But we'll take it for what it is. I like this mode a lot better though, this view. Yeah, so our goal right now is to go ahead and get enough money for that massive uh, harvester. We'll need about $300,000 for it, to be honest, because of that little problem that I was just telling you guys about. Uh, maybe, wait. 
That's how much Bali's selling for. It's the price is going down. How much do we have of Bali? Okay, we'll be able to get a tip of four. Oh, 98% will do. Actually, that was it. That's all the barley that we've got. So I'll go to the mill. Maybe I should speed time up just a little bit just so it goes into the next hour. See what will happen then. But I think we're done sewing, so it's not really going to bother us. So now it's at 1367 at the mill. Hopefully it goes up. Yes, beautiful. Slow time. Down. Harvest this still going. This is a nice view. Good enough to be like a desktop picture. Uh, there is some... Uh, I can't remember what the button is to get rid of the UI. There are also console commands. I can't remember how you access them, but I know you can. It's actually a couple... You can, I think you can do in-game money cheats as well. So let's just count out how much we're expecting to make. So 24 times, about we're going to be making about $36,000, just a bit under. Yeah, so 24 times one and a half. So about 34 grand, which should put us in the vicinity. Uh, it should definitely put us. Uh, in the vicinity of being able to buy the vehicle, but watch this. No, I don't want to do more front load emissions. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and cheat our way back. You, you, and you. Very nice. Alright, our harvester's still struggling. Alright, but firstly, let's go ahead. See, we have the money. We have more than enough money. We've got $264,000. You need $252,000 to buy it. So you'd think we have enough money. But there's a little problem. Clearly we can't buy. So what I think is happening is the game still thinks it costs 300 and whatever the amount is, like $300,000. But um, once we actually have the option to buy it, so it'll be, we'll be able to buy it once we have the original amount of money that's necessary to buy it. But once we press buy, it actually only takes $252,000 away. So that's what I think the problem is. At least that's what I've noticed, because once we have like $300,000, it will enable us to buy, but only then. Uh, so maybe I should go to the mill again and sell the wheat. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Like, I know I really want to save up my crops for a great demand, but I really can't justify, justify that to myself just now. So what we'll do is go to all of you guys. It also sucks. I'm recording my voice in Audacity, so oh, actually I could have put that right then. Oh. So I can't really edit as much as I would like to. Well, I can, but it, it's it takes a lot of time in post production. It, it'd be epic if I was just recording my sound through Fraps. What Fraps really needs is a two-channel uh, audio layer, so you can have your voice and the in-game audio as well as two different layers, but Fraps makes it one layer, which is annoying as all hell. So yeah, so I have to use Audacity as my layer for voice, which is good because I also use uh, noise cancellation because there's a lot of static sound on my microphone that comes out and comes through. So I think we have wheat now. Yep, I'm supposed to be getting wheat. I can also sell corn, but corn sells for pretty much nothing. 
but you use corn for many different purposes. I don't really understand why Fraps is just... You'd think they would have already figured it out. I'm, I can't be the only one that complains about this because I know there's a lot of people that want Fraps to be uh, dual channel audio. But it's just not, for whatever reason. It'd be the perfect program to record. I've done a lot of improvements to it as well. If anyone is interested in creating their own videos, and Fraps is definitely the way to go. You pay for it once, you get uh, unlimited patches like for the rest of the time that it will exist for. There's like other competition to it as well, like DX2, which is some Chinese, it's quite dodgy really, but <laughs> it's some Chinese uh, created program, and the website's pretty weird. Right, but let's go ahead and sell this suite, which will give us oh, a fair amount more money. Um, let's see how much we have. No, sorry, going to deny you again. We could go ahead and sell the corn, which would give me another seventeen thousand dollars. I'm definitely thinking about leaning that way. Well, once we buy the harvester, we'll end the episode, and I'll go ahead and do some other missions so I can get a good cultivator and a good sower as well because that's what I've been aiming for for quite a while. How long have I actually been playing this? I was back in statistics. I've been playing for 2 hours and 14 minutes this session. But obviously all that wasn't recorded. I went ahead and just uh, plowed a couple of fields and well, cultivated them and did all my stuff. We've actually sown in this session more than we... Well, half of what we've sown in total of the game. Okay, so let's go. Oh, we should have went back here. Reset. Okay. Now, let's go to the shop. I still can't buy it yet. Jeez, that sucks. Okay. That would have been too difficult with me, which is cool. Hopefully they give me some grass cutting missions soon, because I want that. Alright, you know what we'll have to do? I will go ahead and get all my corn and sell that, but we'll edit that out, so see you until then. So finally we made it into the freight yard where the prices are the best for corn, and the corn texture actually looks quite good. Let's try not to crash though. And all we have to do now is just tip it over into the concrete, which is kind of weird, but supposedly it goes into the train. Any moment now it should come up. Yes, unload. And yeah, that's pretty much what you do. The train don't seem to, doesn't seem to fill up though. It seems like it's not even carrying corn. But okay, we'll accept that for what it is. Now, yes! See, <laughs> when we had like $270,000, $300,000 or whatever, it didn't really work. But finally now, we've got $252,000 plus. So we could go ahead and buy this. Let's see how much. We should have about $70,000 left. Yep. See, that worked perfectly, so my theory seems to stand. Now, now that we own that, we go back to Harvesters. And this is, after all, the best one that you can get. Uh, so, what we want is we want the Dutes 7545 RTS cutter. Because we're not going to be cutting corn yet. Oh, beautiful. That is just too good to be true. We've got both of these things. Oh, my God. Can you believe it, guys? I cannot believe it. So, now what we'll do is go ahead and just tell all our new vehicles and all our current vehicles to go ahead and move back to our home. Quickly tap our way. I can barely hold my excitement. Where are we? Where are we? Yes. Oh, does that not sound good? How good does that sound? Well, look at the fuel mileage. Well, not the mileage, but the liters that we're holding. 900 liters pretty much and I just realized I spelt liters wrong. That's kind of funny. Okay. Oh Man, that's good stuff. That is brilliant stuff. Oh wow 9,000 liters of goods to hold. Uh, let's quickly accept this mission Sorry guys, I just want to accept this mission. 
you can watch me drive like a madman because I realize that this mower doesn't have a actually a speed that it needs to be set at so you can go maximum speed and you get a pretty nifty bonus as well we get about three grand if you do it correctly at maximum speed so this has a good pay for it's about ten thousand dollars a mission for just cutting grass for about a minute so just excuse me while we do this I do understand that this does get boring and I am going to do a lot of these missions uh, off camera now from now on but I've seemed to have figured out a good pace at how to do missions and episodes for you guys so they aren't too boring although this one was a bit of a uh, if you want because I actually really wanted that harvester I absolutely desperately needed that harvester so I wanted just to be let you guys be there with me but we're almost done I think we'll need one more round trip Come on, please keep it to me. There we go. Yeah, so that was ten thousand dollars. Now this Bali guy, I don't really care about him. I only care about this right now. Oh, this is so good. So now we're going to be able to harvest barley at a record-breaking pace. Actually, we won't harvest barley with you. We'll harvest the canola. Maybe I should speed time up. Let's just go ahead and check. Um, Oh, it seems like it's dark green, though. Is it dark? What color is it? Actually, I don't think it's the darkest color of green. I think it's just the middle color. So maybe I should just speed time up just a little bit. So I can get a bit of canola. Hopefully the barley doesn't die on us. I doubt it would. I just want this guy to be ready for the canola. Oh, that's so good. He'll be able to do this in oh, about three three rows, three turns. Which is extremely quickly. But it's, it said it's flu, fuel economical, but we've already used up a litre of our massive vehicle. Okay. Whatever they say. Now let's attach you to this tipper. And our money in terms of just crop should be coming in a lot quicker. Especially once we get that better cedar and uh, sower, or cedar and cultivator, excuse me. Because I, I want to invest in the ones that are about like eight or six meters or so, instead of just the one that cultivates and sows at the same time. That only does it at three meters width. So. Okay, so that's all good. Playing at a blistering pace. Which means that we'll also be getting lots of money from our solar collector. Right, so the harvester should be going soon. There it is. Nope. Sorry. Actually, I should go ahead and deny you all the missions because I don't need them right now. They're the last thing on my mind. I want to go ahead and actually use my new toy that I'm so excited about. Uh, what I could do, uh, what I could do is get a new cultivator. Um, actually, let's go ahead and check it out. P. Oh, potato. Oh, that's the grimy. Cultivators. Okay. Ooh. I think I'm going to get this one. Yeah, we'll get the Horsch Tirano 8FX. For, so for $40 a day, it's 7.5 meters width as well. So it seems like it's pretty good. Alright, let's go back to this vehicle. Go back to our harvester.
Okay, so we'll cruise control at harvesting speed. So we can do things together. Still at 120 times speed, the canola hasn't grown out yet. I really do hope it does soon, because I want to go ahead and use the toy now. Shouldn't be long. Let's just turn our lights on. There we go. It has all grown. So let's slow down time. Has that little patch grown out as well? Yes, it has. Fantastic. So you can slow down. Here we go. Let's actually, I want to do this myself. Cruise control level two. Watch this. I think we'll actually be able to do the whole field without unloading to a tipper, which would be fantastic. Let's push over to the left a little bit more. That is so good. Well, we're leaving little bits and pieces. I guess we're going to be a little bit more conservative. Go ahead and overlap on the grass a little. But see, already we'd need that a tipper already. Wow. This is quite amazing. I can't wait till we get more and more new toys. It'll be so much fun. Oh, let's just hire a worker. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end the episode. And I'll harvest both of these fields out. Especially with my brand new spanking toy. It shouldn't last that long anyway. But we'll be back with another episode. Hopefully today or tomorrow. But definitely tomorrow there'll be a couple more episodes as well. But hopefully you guys are enjoying. I definitely am. And things look like they're going mighty fine for us right now. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.